beautiful San Francisco. And of course, I say beautiful as they show a literal prison on there, but a very <laughs> cool one to visit. I will admit, if you've not done the Alcatraz tour, it is actually pretty fun. <laughs> one of the touristy things that I'll recommend out here. There's our teams getting warmed up, of course, for the third quarter final. We are going to be sending two teams to the grand finals of the Universal Open in Santa Ana, California, two weeks from today. And we've already had one great upset as our last match. We saw Chickens advance past Sloth 2-0 in the Petting Zoo Championship. Uh, they're going to go up against Vivian in the next round. Winner of that will, of course, move on to the grand finals in Santa Ana. But right now, we have to get into our next match, which is, of course, going to be Set to Destroy X versus Team Finesse. And uh, I know coming into this, Set to Destroy X, one of those pro teams you guys expected, would be able to play pretty well up to this point. But take me through them a little bit. Let me know what we can expect from these guys and whether they'll come up against a challenge in Finesse. So the interesting thing is Halcyon is the only player that is currently on the 3v3 roster for Set to Destroy. And the interesting thing is Set to Destroy knocked out a team called Iris back in Season 3 to make it into the RLCS League play. One of those players on that team they knocked out was Lachinio. And now you see him here playing with Halcyon. It's going to be very interesting to watch these two play. Lachinio, a world-renowned player, one of the first world championship players. Yeah, really. Lachinio, one of the strongest, actually, 2v2 players. He comes from the 1v1 game, so you're just going to see incredible mechanics, very creative offense. And, and just Lachinio, I mean, I can't speak enough great things about this guy. I'm expecting him to have a great upset here and cruise on through. He's a potential grand finalist here, so let's, let's look out for him. All right, fair enough. Well, standing by with Set to Destroy X right now is Axel Toss. So, Alex, take it away. I'm here with Set to Destroy. We got Lachinio and Halcyon. Gentlemen, I heard a little story about how this team came to be. Uh, can you talk to me about that? How did you guys link up and start competing in this tournament? Um, it was kind of like really last second. I was like, yo, Halcyon, you want to do this? And it was over Twitter DMs, and I'm like, yeah, we, you know, if we do this, we had better get going like pretty fast because we literally were like late to the signups, I think. So, yeah, I, I'm surprised that we made it this far for the last second, pretty sure. We actually had to beg one of the moderators to open up more spots in the qualifiers because yeah. it was completely full by the time we wanted to sign up. So literally last second, and here you guys here in San Francisco competing for a spot in Santa Ana. What do you what do you mark your chances are, guys? How, how are you feeling coming into today as far as your play is concerned? Are, are you going to get one of those spots? Yeah, I'm pretty confident we can get one of the spots. It's just like if we play our game pretty well, then obviously we're probably going to get it. But uh, we have to stay consistent and hope for their best because. Uh, a lot of these teams put a lot of pressure on twos because, you know, it's risky game mode, so we, there's got to be a lot of pressure. Honestly, in 2v2s, anything can happen, so um, I think we can make it through. All right, gentlemen, good luck with your first match. It's set to destroy, hoping to make a run. Back to you, Kevin. Well, anything can happen. We saw that in the last match. We saw it in Chickens versus Sloth. But uh, let's talk about Set to Destroy X. Is this one of those teams, like, coming into this a few regionals ago, you guys thought, ah, oh, well, they get through the first round, no problem. Are they that good? Are we looking at a definite win here for Set to Destroy? Are there things we got to potentially look out for them? I mean... Like we saw, like we said earlier, Lachinio, a fantastic player, and he won the very first RLCS season. He was one of the first World Championship players. When we say the World Championship player, not just he played the World Championship, he won the World Championship. Yeah, RLCS he was, season one World yeah. Champion right here yeah. in the flesh. Absolutely. So teaming <laughs> up here with Set to Destroy Halcyon, definitely a name in the community right now, definitely one of the top eight players, or top players in the top eight team. So I think that they have a great, strong performance, but the people that they're going up against are no shoe-ins either. Right, I mean, Kazoo, he's a great player as well. He's I know him from quite a while. He's kind of an OG in Rocket League, sort of taking a break as we move forward. So I won't actually be expecting them to take this game over Set to Destroy. I think that they're going to be the favorites in this match. If we want to look at Kazoo and his teammate here, Sad Koala, both these guys OGs. Excuse me. I didn't mean to leave you out, Sad Koala. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. All right. Well, let's go ahead and kick it over to Alex right now, who's standing by. Thanks, Kevin. I'm here with Team Finesse. We got Sad Koala. We got Kazoo. Gentlemen, we're here in San Francisco. Pretty important tournament going down. Uh, tell me about your travels. Tell me about your preparation coming into today and how you're feeling. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about today. Um, we went to TwitchCon, or I mean, not TwitchCon, Twitch headquarters yesterday. Warmed up with some of the guys. Um, a little bit tired this morning, but I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. So, <laughs> 6 a.m. wake up is uh, it's pretty early, but I'm feeling pretty good. Like you said, we got a lot of warm-up time yesterday, and that felt great. I was worried we weren't going to get to play at all. Well, in that sense, how does it feel like meeting all these other competitors and hanging out? Uh, how is that coming together here in San Francisco to, to hang out with these guys? It's definitely a very different feeling because you've played against these guys a lot online, but you've never met them like face-to-face. -face. So it's definitely kind of intimidating because there is some very good players here, and we're in the hardest bracket. So it's I, I think it's going to be fun. 
Absolutely, yeah. It's it's a bit of an experience to get to see all these people in person. Like you said, like it's been like nearly two years now since we've been playing the game, and for the most part, it's the same people that have been playing the entire time. And it's really great to see them and play them in person. All right. Well, you know, there's two spots, guys, to Santa Ana. Uh, a lot of people hoping that you're going to get it, I'm sure. But are we going to see Happy Koala if you do well? Uh, how, what would it mean to you guys if you were to actually get one of those two spots? I think I, I think I would change my name to Happy Koala. If I, if I make it to Santa Ana, I think I could make that change. I would be extremely excited. <laughs> That's about it. All right, Team Finesse, good luck in your match. Kevin, back to you. An antidepressant koala. That's that's what we need to see coming out of today. I think that's what's going to happen. All right, guys. So the teams are actually getting set up right now. They have a small maintenance problem as one of the players is getting his uh, equipment figured out. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to show you guys this awesome feature where some players from the San Jose Earthquakes actually tried out Rocket League for the first time. We'll see what professional soccer players do when faced with soccer. <laughs> Yeah, this is for real. This is for all the marbles. Let's go. First touch. Ugh. We're not off a good start here. I think it's a good time. Playing the game is a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of variables that go into it. Not seeing the ball for over 50% of the game because <laughs> you're driving in circles. I haven't touched the ball in probably the last five minutes of this game. Where's the ball? Now my guy's running into me. Dude, Fury is... Doing a great job. He's not part of the orange team. <laughs> I can say that much. Contact. It's a win for me if I didn't make contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not going. Yep. That's one. <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard because you have to like, well, we just think about jumping like the boost and stuff. It's, like, it's a lot harder than it looks. Oh, here we go. On the attack. Get in. Oh, who was that you? That was unbelievable. No boost. No, he's, gonna, he's done it again. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. That's two. It's two, baby. I think it's short and it, it adds some short fun so it's not an extended period of game. You can switch out, I can see like a bunch of friends sitting around playing it and just rotating. It's all the action. All the action, it's fun. Yes. Yes! Yes! Get in! <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's literally driving it into the goal for you. That's you, Fury. No, that is not That's me. you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this? I didn't realize you could jump the car until halfway through the game. <laughs> Are there subs? Because Fury's having a shock. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's... Where's it gone? That's gone. Wow. Oh! I think I'd gone in. Controllers would have flown. Does it go to Golden Goal? Or... What happens? What is this goal? Oh, overtime. Oh, all right. I think if you had the skill to play yeah, off the wall, maybe, you'd be like, You know, good. you got some of those situations where you got to crawl before you can walk, so... I think we just get the basics first before you start off with that wall-off-the-wall wall stuff. Oh! Oh! No! That was wide open and I missed it. There it is. There it is. Oh, that looks promising. Oh! He scored an on goal again. There it is. <laughs> right over it. Okay, all right. So that was fun, but a couple of things to take away from that. We have some inside information that we found out about that very critical Rocket League match. Mm -hmm. uh, the players didn't know how to jump until the last <laughs> game that they played, so solid fundamentals from our players there. <laughs> and uh, two, as defensive men actually, you know, in soccer, mm -hmm. they managed to score two own goals. So, you know, we're That's pretty happy about it. the performance. It's yeah. going to feel good as a defender to score at all, right? Wave! All right. That's that's fun. Okay. So uh, other than we have, uh, you know, uh, 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 other than uh, uh, professional soccer players that are jumping into this right now, though, um, we got to preview this match and we got to take a look here and see what's going on as we're about to jump into things here. Uh, looks like the players are finally getting uh, all good to go. But uh, uh, talk to me real last second here before we have a, before we have a chance to move in. Besides Vanessa's sweet, sweet uh, uh, uniforms, what else are you expecting from this team against a team like Set to Destroy? What do they have to do? Just play that fundamental ball again, or do they have to do bring out something crazy against Set to Destroy? I think I think start with the fundamentals, see how see where that gets you, and then feel out Set to Destroy in this first game. See what sort of strategies they're going for, and then go for the counter there. Always, always the rock paper scissors here on the strategy. It will be finesse in the orange, Set to Destroy in the blue. And we will get this first game underway. Four octanes on the pitch. It was originally set to destroy up on the offense, and now Finesse with an opportunity. Still best of three here in the quarterfinals. See Kazoo wrapping this one around the wall. A lot of space given there by set to destroy. Halcyon in to try to set up 
Lachinio gets it over the top. He takes the shot, goes a bit high, but Halcyon's there again. 50-50 keeps the ball in the box. Lachinio again, and just so much pressure right now here from set to destroy. But no, nothing showing for right now is the defense. It's been a little bit like haphazard in the last second, but the defense here from Finesse holds on. Oh, Lachinio in those 1v1 situations, so dangerous. Watch him. Oh, and Skazoo gets it away. The defense again, just there. It's like they're so close to being scored on, but they're just making the last touch at the last moment to get it away. And we'll stay scoreless here with 355 left to go. Set to destroy, though. So much ball pressure, so much control the whole way through. And great pump there from Kazoo to take Lachinio out of the game there, just zoning him away from the offense. 40 left to go. Halcyon playing this one down the field. Sad Koala. It'll be Lachinio now in the corner with Halcyon in the middle. Kazoo gets it over the top of Lachinio taking the shot towards the net, trying to get it around. Sad Koala, demolition on Lachinio. So opens up a power play opportunity, but Halcyon buying so much time. Lachinio spawns in the far corner. He'll rotate into the middle. And now set to destroy. Halcyon still has ball control. I forget it pass one. It punts high. Lachinio just has to make contact, but he's low on boost. And Zach Wall will be able to get there first. Play it back away. 310 left to go. Still scoreless. Oh, what a touch here. Is this going to be going in? Goes wide. Halcyon puts it back into the box. Sad Kual and Kazoo to try. Now on the offense, Kazoo misses in the midfield, and this is a bad situation. Lachinio gets to the touch, all the contact it needs goes all the way down and set to destroy scores. And this is the individual star power of Lachinio. Look as he pinches the ball into the ground here, and he's able to get so much power off of his own backboard. I mean, just scoring all the way across the field, really as far as you possibly could be. Just a great shot there from Lachinio to, to recognize that there's no defense there and go for that pinch. It's something that you don't actually often see the pinches on the ground from your own backboard going in. You saw Finesse there. Successfully kill and then cheat up to try. Push the ball into enemy territory, but all for naught as set to destroy. He's got the ball back in the orange. That wall now to try and set this one out towards Kazoo. Bit outpaces his teammates since it's a bit far past, but Lachinio's bounce out actually goes back towards the net. And Halcyon has to block it from going in. We'll go back away. Here comes Kazoo now, towards the backboard. And funny story about Kazoo, for all the viewers who don't know, he's actually one of the very first players kind of paved the way for the half flip, actually. He mm. put out a YouTube tutorial for it, and before you know it, it just took over. So expect to see some cool mechanics from him. He's very creative. And not so much, I don't know if he's as creative as Lachinho, a world champion, but definitely a match for the two. Absolutely. The half flip, a means of turning your car around very quickly. Reverse and doing a quick 180. Kazoo to send this one over to the side. Sad Koala in the back will go airborne. Go for the aerial second touch on Lachinio. With 138 left to go. Both teams with decent opportunities. Pushing the ball in an enemy half. Oh, but Lachinio just boom this one straight back down. A bit of confusion. They get tangled up there in the midfield and Lachinio punishes. Yeah, great job here from Lachinio. Something that he's very, very characteristic of Lachinio is he's actually over aggressive and, and doesn't really have the vision. But watching these two games, we see him playing very patiently, just trying to maintain ball position as much as possible. And both his goals coming from what are essentially clears, actually trying to remove the ball from defense to offense. The transition period just seems to be one touch. Ball will drop into the corner. Halcyon out towards Lachinio, up and dropping it nice and soft with the bottom of his car. Halcyon in to finish it off. 3-0 now for set to destroy. And Vanessa has got to start thinking about what they're doing wrong and what they got to change because they are they've not been able to get anything going on offense. Right here we see Kazoo actually turn when he sees Lachinio go up for the ball, and that's a mistake. He needs to just actually back up further into the goal and be able to make a save with a wider angle of approach. Unfortunately, he didn't do so, and that caught him in no man's land, unable to make the save from Halcyon. Kazoo puts it into the corner, but the wide rotation from Sad Koala slows it down. Oh, this one bouncing in favor of Finesse, actually. Lachinio chases it down in time and then misses that touch. Kazoo takes a shot towards the net. Halcyon's there to bail him out, sends it away, and said to destroy will hold on to their 3 0 lead. Another shot towards that. Sad Koala airborne will play it to the side, and Kazoo will rotate in behind. But Lachinio continuing to keep that pressure on, and Halcyon lurking right in front of the box to see if he can put in one more goal. At this point, they don't need to score. Just keeping the ball up in enemy territory will burn enough time off the clock and guarantee that they will get the win here in game number one. Yeah, Halcyon and Lachinio doing such a good job just maintaining ball possession. Really, I mean, you don't see Sad Koala and Kazoo. 
ever able to control the ball for very long at all. Halcyon just going straight for clears. Lachino as well. And, and Sad Kuala and, and, and Kazooie, I think the biggest thing that needs to change for these guys in, in game number two, as we see the game number one winding down. Yep, and Lachino put one more in here just for good measure. I, I think the biggest thing we need to see from this team is just better utilization of the walls, actually. They don't really move side to side at all, and you being able to use that wall as a third man to pass on, or just like a pseudo teammate, if you will, just using it to get around players, keep away, that's what needs to be happening here. We don't see enough of that, and we just see them giving the ball time and time again directly forward as they go for shot after shot after shot. And with uh, that final goal from Lachinia will put a period on the end of this sentence. He'll save that one away as well, and even if we saw Finesse able to score. It wouldn't really make much of a difference here in game number one. Set to destroy comes out very, very strong and puts this one down. A dominant performance here. We've seen two sweeps so far in the quarterfinals and set to destroy right now. Looking poised to do it in theirs as well. Finesse really needing to figure out what to change up here in game number two. So to me, this one felt like the most methodical game we've seen so far, right? Mm. Like set to destroy was just on top of it from beginning to end. Maybe took a minute or two to get the scoring going, but it was pretty clear to me. It felt like they were kind of heads and tails above the competition. Maybe this felt like the 5-1 we saw in Slot, you know, in Slothler's Chickens or Fibian and they turned it around, I'm sorry. Um, but I don't see it happening no. here, no. No, I mean, I'm, it's nothing against Sad Koala or Kazoo. But Licinio, you can see his title in the game, season yeah. one world champion, and he's such a skilled attacker. And that that really carries over into 2v2. It makes it so difficult to, to play aggressively. You're just so scared that he's going to put a ball in the top corner of your own net from anywhere. And we saw he's capable mm -hmm. of that. Just clears time and time again, converting into goals. That is the best title ever, RLC a Season 1 World Champion again. Yep. Like you, no one can take that away. Season nope. 2, who cares? I was first. I nope. always love that. Um, okay, well, Wave, let's let, let's look at you on this one. Any hope for Finesse? Any way that you can see that they can maybe tighten up the, the their play a little bit? Make me make it a more competitive game, at least? I think uh, being able to keep ball control in enemy territory is what they have to be able to do. They have to be able to get the ball into the blue and keep it there for at least more than two touches, because right now, Set to Destroy, playing so strong and clearing the ball very, very quickly. You saw 10 shots there from Set to Destroy in game number one and four saves, four goals, which meant only two of the shots were wide of any sort. So the accuracy right now coming through from Set to Destroy and they're going to start off right off the bat putting another one in five seconds in and Set to Destroy's already got the lead. Yeah, Sad Qual's going to be knocking himself for this one. He does what we call a cheat and then he also goes for the boost. That's just a, a big nope. no, nope. no, no matter what level of play you are, you can't do that. A cheat is when you actually go close to the kickoff in hopes that your teammate's going to be able to stall the ball there and you can take a quick control of it. It's kind of like a handoff play in football, right? Just giving it to a running back and let him take it. And unfortunately, he goes for that. It doesn't pan off. And then he also goes for boost. It's just too much time taken and not enough control of the ball. Yeah, the problem with cheating up is that you leave nobody back in the net. And so if they clear it over the top of you, then they have a free shot on the goal. And the other thing that players like to do often, oh, Zach Wally here with an empty net on his own. He'll put that one in. We've got a tie game here in game two. Lachinio, get out, played, oh. son! That glass touch so good to pop it over him. Sad Koala showing that he still got it. He never lost it. It was a great play from him, actually. And one of those great things about air dribbles on the top of your car, when you let the ball just float on your car, that's what we talk about with an air dribble. It's when, you're, when your car carries the ball mid-air. He's able to let the ball bounce Ooh, on top of the Kazoo car. puts another one in. You weren't even done talking about the last goal, and they've already scored again. <laughs> you see, Lachinio here did the other thing you can do on kickoff off a which is go for the corner boost, but Kazoo's placement here in the upper corner, like on the far post, meant that Lachinio had to go get the boost and then immediately hightail it back, which is what made that first goal's mistake so bad, is that he went for the cheat up and then also went for boost, completely removed himself from the play, and now we've seen another goal scored on the other other kind of issue that can, people can have on kickoffs if they don't win the first touch here. So the lead now over on the side of Finesse after not scoring once in game one, they've gotten two here in the first minute of game two. It was a best of three. They have to win this game. They have to hold on to this to force game three. They want to be able to get into oh. the semifinals. Halcyon will immediately tie the game back up. We've had four goals in the first minute. A great touch from Lucino. He recognizes the side clear and just immediately goes for that bounce pass off the wall. And Halcyon, Halcyon actually even bumping Kazoo, but it didn't matter. It was just a great prediction of that ball and able to put that into the top corner. It's so difficult to defend those when you come at that sideways angle. It's hard to predict where they're going to be placing that shot. 
Sad goal to drop this one down. Lucinio moving out first. Halcyon was close in support. This one goes into the box. Sad call there, not trusting his teammate Kazoo to be able to put that one in the middle, and it costs them a goal. Lucinio contesting the corner. Halcyon lurks in the back. Halcyon there rocking the uh, titanium white flamethrower boost. One of the newer items in the game. And Lucinio always rocking his, his gold rush. I don't think he'll ever change off that boost. It's a beautiful boost, it though. Is. Look how it sparkles. It is, the, it is the iconic boost of the pros. Lucinio misses in the midfield. Zach Wall with an opportunity here. He gets there first, booms it all the way down the field, exactly what he needs to do, and they've got the lead back. Finesse making a name for themselves. And we see Saad Kual really waking up in this game number two. Great presence of mind here just to put a, a goal on that, or a shot, sorry, on that wide open goal. But great 50 50s from Kazoo and Saad Kual, and also baiting Lucinio and Halcyon into their own half a lot more. And that's what creates open opportunities on the other side of the field. The field's actually not that big. You need to pull them away from their goal, and Saad Kual doing that well. 308 left to go. Virginia to play it past the first defender. Kazoo Sakwal though picks it up, moves it back down the field. And look at the position here from Kazoo. Seeing he was right where Lachinio played the ball away from Sad Koala. Sakwala didn't realize Kazoo was there. He followed along with them and they got a bit tangled up. Now set to destroy with another opportunity. Halcyon moving it down the field. See if he can play it past Kazoo and Sad Koala. They play it to the side. They both moved out of net. Lucinio hung in the back, though, so they won't get punished for double committing. Lucinio, though, now with the shot back down the field. Oh. Wall makes the save. We talked about the double commit in the corner. There was also kind of a double commit in the middle of the field, which right, gave Lucinio right. that opportunity to shoot. Sad Koala now. Back towards the corner. Sad Koala actually rocking the uh, Magentum data stream, also a brand new item. It's quite, quite the loud boost. Yeah, I was just going to say. All oh. right, in front of the box, Halcyon puts it in. They've got another tie game here, just dismantling the defense here. And we've seen this a few times here now from Finesse, kind of an overcommitment on the midfield, which means they have to fall back on the defense very quickly and makes it easy for Halcyon to score. Yeah, Kazoo just with the not enough, I think, confidence in himself, actually. He could have gone right back into goal and gone for the save. Instead, he tried to just prevent any shot from taking place, which typically is the right move to make in that position right there. I'm not so sure. 204 left to go. Just cross halftime here. We've seen six goals scored in game number two. Both teams taking advantage of defensive mishaps. Managing to punish here. Halcyon nearly puts in the leading goal. But we see Finesse able to play it away. Kazoo will try to drop this one back towards that. Koala Halcyon with the read, plays it across. And if Lucinio can play this one right, he's got a free goal in front of him here. Just shoots it past the post. And that's the lead back for Set to Destroy. Yeah, here, just too much of an overcommit. We see Sad Koala pressuring the ball when Kazoo is still in the middle of his first recovery. Mm -hmm. When you see your teammate go all the way to the other side of the field, which often happens in a, in a botched 50-50, it's really important that you recognize, I just need to turn around, get back to my goal, and buy time for my teammate to come back and support me. And now with 1.38 left to go, Finesse, who lost game one handily, and had the lead at some points in this game, but now they are behind, and they only have a minute and 30 left, possibly in their tournament lives if they cannot find a way to score. Sakwa and Kazoo again, both in the corner here. If they can score, it's great for him. But if not, it's an open net on the other side. Luckily, this time Kazoo falls back quickly and he'll be there to block Lachinio, but still not a situation you want to have to be in. Oh, sad call. Great touch there to buy enough time. You can see that red trail behind the ball. That indicates which team touched the ball there. So you can tell he did get a great touch. Sakwa plays into the corner. Yeah, as you're alluding to, the ball's trail reflects yeah. the last player that touched it. So whether you're orange or blue. Halcyon to play this one over the top of Sad Koala. Shoots downfield, Kazoo. Drop this one kind of in front of his own net. Not the best of clears, and Lachinio drops this one nice and cleanly down. Now the two-goal lead. Much more difficult comeback here for Finesse. Yeah, Kazoo actually with a almost a great touch. If you look at the top of the stadium, there's a curvature mm -hmm. right there on the corners, and that will drop the ball straight over your net. If he was maybe a few inches further down, the ball would have gone straight off the wall and back out towards the other team's goal. Unfortunately, he just drops it from his own net. Just another mechanical error. Lucinio, the veteran world champion player, knows exactly how to read that one, drops it down and in. And now the two-goal lead for Set to Destroy is they're gonna try and hold on and make it into the semifinals here in just two games. Yet to see a game three in our quarterfinals. And Set to Destroy is trying to keep that streak going here. 20 seconds left, only down by two. 
Finesse can do this, but they have to play smart. And losing 50-50s like that to Lachinio is not going to help them. The ball sitting in the corner. Housen, you see him just kind of just backing off. He just wants to kind of pinch it with Zach Wall and keep the ball in the corner. It burns so much time off the clock here. And as the final countdown happens, Finesse, they're going to be saying goodbye here to the Universal Open. Not going to be able to score two in the row. And that's going to be set to destroy. Moving on to the semifinals. Yeah, and in a 2-0 fashion as well. Dominant, but... Really, I'm not sure if that tells the whole storyline. We saw some great play there in this game number two from Sad Koala in particular. I mean, it's got to be a little bit heartbreaking to see him just do so much, and at the end, they weren't able to maintain that lead. Yeah, I want to follow up on that, because that's kind of been the story of the day for me, right? Is in game two, seeing the underdogs do a pretty good job at correcting, finding a way to make a closer game. Yeah, it was a two-goal differential. Yeah, mm -hmm. towards the end, set that destroy kind of took the pace of the game, but a much better effort from Finesse here. So, um, okay. Let's, let's look forward to the next round then. We've got uh, Silzio Cobb and we've got Recovery that's going to be uh, potentially coming up next here uh, as, a, as a, you know, a competitor for these guys. Do you think Set Destroy is uh, clear head and shoulders above these guys or are uh, you looking for someone here out of this next My match? number one seed here is going to be Silzio Cobb. I think Set to Destroy, as we can see, a great goal there from Halcyon. I, these guys are a good team and they definitely have the have the ability to take out a Fibion, if you will, or, or there's a, even really a potential upset of Silzio Cobb. But I'll be expecting Silzio Cobb as my number one seed and Fibion is the number two. Mm. And being able to see, excuse me, uh, Set to Destroy, who's going to be playing Sizzle Your Cop later, that's going to be a very difficult match for them, but it's not out of the realms of possibility. All right, we can take a look at the updated brackets. Our third quarter final has finished up. Set to Destroy X advances past Team Finesse 2 0. They're waiting on the winners of Sizzle Your Cop and Recovery. And of course, that's going to round out our semifinals. We're getting into our last quarter final here in just a second. All right, guys, well, it looks like Alex is standing by right now. Alex, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with your winners of that match, we got set to destroy Lachinio Halcyon. Congrats, guys. Looked pretty good. Uh, talk me through the series real quick. Uh, game one looked really comfortable. Game two a little bit less so. Had to make a comeback happen a little bit. So talk me through your feelings throughout that series. Uh, we were we were all nervous. I know that like first game we had a like a you know a blowout for nothing, and then the next game they got more comfortable and it got like, more difficult for us. So we had to step up our, uh, our pace as well because you know they were doing that. So. Uh, yeah, we did that and we came back, got the two game lead on them and then uh, took the win. Yeah, uh, They're a really solid team and uh, close games, but Nerves definitely did have a big thing to play in it. Yeah, I got to imagine, of course, uh, recent world champion from season one RLCS. You got to be used to that by this point, uh, I would think, but obviously it can change every time it happens. But looking forward in the bracket, guys. We, we have a next match that's potentially going to be tricky with Jacob and Siz being such favorites here in this tournament. Uh, what are you all expecting for that match, and, and what are you going to do in the meantime? How are you guys going to stay in the zone here? Um, we just got to play like a lot of pressure against them because I know like these are two top players, so you know it's going to be like this game is so risky in twos, so I don't, honestly, I don't know. It can, it can go either way, so. but they can obviously take the next match definitely yeah. easily. We just got to stay relaxed, play our game, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to come out on top. All right, guys, that was a ton of fun. We're going to throw it back to the desk. Uh, but best of luck into, uh, into your next match. I know you got a lot of fans out there rooting for you. So back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Alex. We appreciate that. And in just a couple of minutes, we're going to be ready for our fourth and final quarterfinal of the West Regional here at the Universal Open Rocket League Tournament. There's our players standing by. When we come back, Sizzler Cobb versus Recovery right here on NBC Sports Bay Area in San Francisco.